Hi there. Uh, I know it's been a while since I last posted a video about the um, using a pillar drill as a milling machine. Uh, quite a lot's changed since then. Um, <laughs> to cut a very long story short, uh, I ended up breaking the little pillar drill. Um, not not for anything I was doing. I just the the electronics speed control stopped working properly. Uh, so I ended up getting rid of that and um, replaced it with a, a normal pillar drill in inverted commas um, which isn't really suitable for um, putting a, a, an XY table on um, because the, the way in which the bed moves and all the, the, the table moves and stuff like that so uh, I ended up abandoning that project but I had the opportunity to acquire some bits and pieces mainly uh, some metal uh, for uh, making a CNC router um, so I did end up having to buy loads of extra bits and pieces but I got some of the raw materials for the frame and the other bits and pieces uh, for, for free so I decided to take the take the plunge and actually make a full CNC router so I've been doing that for a little while now um, and it's what you see before you now uh, please excuse the mess of all the wires I do have to tidy up and do a bit of cable management and make a slightly better enclosure but I thought I'd share a, a little video uh, about what I've made so um, it's all homemade well I say all uh, obviously the frame um, is homemade it consists of some steel box section so we've got uh, it's fixed gantry type and it's got some heavy section steel box uh, making the verticals and the, the cross beam uh, the cross beam consists of two steel box sections here and here with a big piece of plate welded across the middle to make a, a, a big C channel uh, and then it's got some box section verticals here and on the other side and then the main frame of it beneath the bed is made out of some massive heavy steel U section um, big fat wall thickness stuff uh, I think the bare frame alone probably weighs 60 kilo something like that I can't I can't lift it on my own not even close um, so I'd say probably 60 kilos 50 kilos something like that the the rails were a cheap set of 20mm um, fully supported rails from eBay with some uh, open-ended linear bearings we've got 5mm pitch 16mm diameter ball screws uh, and that's for all axis same with the Z uh, the Z axis is made from aluminium angle and aluminium plate bolted together to, to add a bit more rigidity to it we've got a relatively inexpensive motion control system from eBay so we've got the stepper drivers a power supply it did come with a Mac 3 control board but I didn't want to pay for a Mac 3 license so I've got an Arduino under here running gerbil gerbil whatever you want to call it uh, it's got a 1.5 kilowatt uh, three-phase spindle and there's the power supply for it up there I originally did try using basically a, a router but I was unhappy with the speed control setup on it the noise and the power and stuff like that so I I thought I, I might as well spend the money in terms of cost the linear rail kit was 140 pounds so that was the linear rails and the ball screws and the mounts uh, and the, the bearings the motion control system was 140 pounds I think it was so that's three stepper motors the stepper drivers power supply and a control board which I'm not using uh, and then the uh, spindle I think was 160 for the VFD and the spindle so uh, it's got a few quid in it for but um, all things being equal so we got uh, 120 plus 140 260 plus another 150 160 for the spindle let's call it 400 plus all the components like hardware 450 oh, I've got a big wide t-slot piece for the bed which was 50 quid so call it probably as it stands here it's somewhere in the order of 500 to 550 pounds
and here's the pocket after cutting bring you down there As you can see the surface finish is pretty pretty decent considering um, has a quick finish pass on it floors not too bad walls are pretty good all in all very happy with that particularly considering what it's made from and, and how quickly it can run these cuts using adaptive clearing it's really good